Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today let's talk about organizing your art documents. Because when we make illustrations, it's not just the illustration, it's the illustration, it's the reference, it's all the associated files. So you'll really be much happier if you have some sort of a plan. One approach is to have very carefully named files. They are very specific in their wording. Another approach is to use very carefully named folders. And in doing so, this creates your hierarchy. Or of course, you could have some combination of both things. So let's take a look at my system so you can get a sense for how you want to design your own. Now for me, I've got three main categories. I have client, I have control paint, and I have personal. At the top of my hierarchy, these folders will pretty much account for any artwork I make. So let's take a look at personal. Here we've got four things. These might be 3D models or sketches. They all start with the year, the month, and then the name of the project. Easy. Because I named them that way, they all sort very nicely. Okay, so let's click on any one of them. We'll take a look at the Moonlander. So in here, I have a specific set of subfolders that I like to use. I have export. That's just the final 2D JPEG. I have PSD. That's obvious. That's for my working layered files. I have my reference folder. And then I have sketching. And sketching is a wide variety of things. This is sort of my rough thumbnails. It might be physical drawings, all the stuff that leads up to, OK, now I've got my idea. And then once I have the idea solidified, I'll go into the PSD folder and I'll start working layered. But the idea with all this is I don't need to make the files themselves named really elegantly. But as long as I have the buckets to fill and the buckets are named, I think I'm OK. So then I could say, oh yeah, I made a piece of personal art. Um, oh yeah, it was a moon buggy, and I wanted to find the old sketches for it. Well, then I would know where to go. Now, sometimes a project is going to grow even bigger than three items, or even bigger than five items. And then at that point, it might make sense to give it a little more hierarchy. So here I've created a folder called 2015 Mars Project. And then I can put the moon buggy, moon lander, moon suit, and space marine all inside of it, which is going to just make my personal folder a little tidier as I continue to make new artwork. So let's pretend I'm going to make a new piece of artwork. We'll say it's January 2016 and I want to make an environment. Here's where things get really cool. I don't like typing all those folder names. That is not fun. So let's use a tool specifically made for this task. So here I have a free utility only for Windows. Sorry, Mac people and it's called text to folders. So first I have to tell it where am I making the art. So I'll say personal, okay? That's the root. And then the other thing it asks me is what structure do you want for your subfolders? And I've actually already created one called image text. And this just defines what the subfolders are gonna be named. Okay, so I go ahead and hit create folder. And we can see here over on the right, I have a new folder with those subfolders ready to go. So all I need to do is rename it. So I'll say it was, what do we say, 2016. This is January. And we are making an environment of some sort. Now I am totally ready to go. I double click on this. I have all those subfolders that you saw on the previous ones. All I need to do is make the artwork but I'm not always using this exact same structure. So let's go back to the top here and I'll go to my control paint category. Now control paint, they are all videos. And when I make a video, I have different subfolders. Well, that's easy too. So here, if I'm gonna make a new control paint video, I'll say, I want you to be in the control paint directory, but I don't want you to use the image layout. I want you to use my video format. And then once again, I hit create folder. So I still have the XX project name because that's my temporary. We'll go inside and see what we see. I've still got export, but here I've got other categories, audio, footage, packaging. These are things that don't apply to my 2D work, but are in every video I make. And the way this works is really easy. There's no programming involved here. So I'll open up my directory here. This text file is all I needed to create. So you can see on each line, I just wrote out what I want the folders to be called. That's it. You save it as a text file, which I called video text, tell it where to find it, 
and you never have to name those folders again. All you have to do is just rename at the top level here. So I'll call this uh, new video. And if I want to make another one, no problem. All the subfolders are there. Now, how you design your system, that's up to you. Some people like to have fewer folders, so they have fewer clicks, but then have very, very specific file names. But if you like the idea of subfolders, you think that's going to kind of make your life easier, please check out Text to Folders. It is an awesome utility for Windows, and it really makes this process a breeze. The hardest part is deciding what your system looks like in the first place. Then when it comes to actually implementing it for making new artwork, it's just a couple clicks. But no matter how you do it, I really encourage you to make a plan and start following it. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.